Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Now, it's a fact cloud computing has become a massive thing these days. Now many large and small corporations are using cloud computing. They need it because it enabled them to access cloud storage over the internet. They can store their company records, employee details, and all other confidential data on cloud storage. It's secure and easy to use. It wasn't long until another concept emerged. Edge computing was introduced. And the idea was pretty similar to cloud computing, but there was one big difference, and that was the centralization. Edge computing would provide a cloud-based mechanism, but rather than taking the computing to a cloud server, it will bring the cloud server nearer to the end user. So what benefit does that gain? Well, more speed, less latency, and a whole new door open for digital opportunities. In today's video, we're gonna look at a comparison between cloud and edge computing, their pros and cons, differences with each other, and which one's better in which situation. As always, if you have any questions as you watch this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video, find it interesting or helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Let's jump into it. So let's start with cloud computing. When we talk about cloud computing, we need to keep in mind that all the data is collected and processed through a central mechanism. A data center is the main focal point where all cloud computing devices are connected. All those devices that ought to access any data or app have to first connect to the cloud data center. The best benefit of having cloud storage is the safety that a centralized system can provide to all connected computers, even if they are in remote places. The services provided by cloud storage are scalable. A user has to pay for cloud services whenever they use them. These services can include bandwidth, memory, and processing time. There are different models of cloud computing. There's private cloud, public cloud, community cloud, and hybrid cloud. These models are deployed according to their needs. So let's have a look at these. So looking at a private cloud, a private cloud is a confidential cloud computing system that's limited to a specific organization or entity. It's designed to be extra secure. Organizations like the FBI would use private cloud computing. Now let's look at public cloud computing. Public cloud computing is more like an open cloud service that is commercially available for any public use. An individual can develop and deploy a public cloud service without involving any financial service or a corporation. Now let's look at a community cloud infrastructure. A community cloud infrastructure is constructed to allow multiple organizations to use a cloud service manually. Companies with similar goals and interests take benefit from this cloud service. It also saves cost and mainly involves a third party inside. Now let's look at the hybrid cloud. As the name suggests, Hybrid cloud computing is a mixture of the other three. Sometimes a company needs a customized cloud framework. And a hybrid cloud can be the best solution. It allows them to move data and apps from one cloud space to another. Now let's look at the pros of cloud computing. First of all, it's flexible. Cloud computing allows organizations to add additional resources to it whenever need be. One can adjust the scale of cloud computing according to their needs. So that makes it flexible also reliable. A centralized cloud system helps the connected devices with disaster recovery and support in multiple redundant sites. It's well maintained. Those who provide cloud systems would do regular maintenance checks to make sure it's working correctly. It saves costs. Cloud computing saves costs for adding a physical storage device. It's also easier to operate and maintain which provides less cost expenditure on the IT department. So this was the basic idea about cloud computing. So now let's have a look at edge computing. Edge computing is a phenomenon where a decentralized computing infrastructure allows different computer resources and applications to connect. A decentralized approach is what gives edge computing its name. Like cloud computing, edge computing will also connect the user to the cloud. But instead of waiting to connect to the cloud, the cloud will shift closer to the edge. Edge computing helps lower the latency period, which is what high performance computers need. Many organizations can significantly benefit from edge computing, especially those who want no delays in processing speed. 
The innovative computational power that edge computing provides is much better than cloud computing. A decentralized system also gives the benefit of not having any disconnection issues. A central approach might become troublesome if the data center is not responding. Now let's have a look at some real life examples of edge computing to help understand the concept better. First is over the top media platforms. Our streaming platforms like Netflix, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, and Hulu are good examples of edge computing mechanisms. These streaming services have millions of people using them at the same time at different remote locations. Such a heavy traffic load can slow down a centralized network infrastructure. But with these platforms being on an edge computing mechanism, the user gets relief. The content that is most in demand is cached in facilities closer to the end users so that they can get instant access to them. And there's also smart homes. Now you may already be aware of smart homes. However, most of these intelligent home appliances are still using cloud computing, which could put a tremendous load on their infrastructure. The need of the hour is a computing mechanism that processes closer to our end device, which is why edge computing devices are now being introduced that can do quick decision making in regular time and emergencies alike. For example, it reduces the risk of someone hacking your CCTV cameras from the centralized cloud storage. And then there's self-driving vehicles. Now self-driving vehicles need to process a vast amount of data in real time. They have to compile the data of their current location as well as their surroundings. A centralized cloud computing approach can halt or delay seconds. So these autonomous vehicles carry edge computing inside their systems, which would work quite perfectly. So let's look at the pros of edge computing. First, there's reduced costs. Data migration and latency is a big issue in cloud computing. It can cost a lot of money to have them. Edge computing makes sure that you don't have to mess with it since it has less bandwidth requirement and latency. And there's also smart data transfer. Edge computing intelligently gathers only the valuable data that is crucial for processing and ignores the rest. It saves you data resources since you don't need to transfer gigabytes of data to the cloud. And there's also data protection. Edge computing analyzes confidential and sensitive IoT data inside a private network and protects it from the public view. It follows the most rigid security protocols. And then there's improved performance. Edge computing takes care of the locally collected data by processing it and performing necessary actions. The whole procedure happens in milliseconds and provides a much faster computational speed than cloud computing. It cuts the middleman and brings the cloud and end device closer. Now let's have a look at a comparison of cloud computing versus edge computing. When it comes to the cost, edge computing is generally lower, whereas cloud is slightly higher. When it comes to the mechanism, edge computing is on a decentralized mechanism. However, it does rely on centralization to an extent, whereas cloud computing is centralized. Latency, edge computing has minimum latency, whereas cloud computing is slightly higher. When it comes to big data transfer, edge computing is lower, whereas cloud is higher. And when it comes to security risk, edge computing is higher there, whereas cloud computing is lower there. Now you must understand that cloud computing and edge computing are different technologies. A lot of people would say that edge is similar to cloud after describing it, but it's not really the case. Edge computing works on a time-driven mechanism, while cloud computing helps process data that is not time-driven. Most people would prefer edge computing over cloud in remote locations. The reason is that due to limited or poor internet connectivity, it's sometimes a challenge to connect to the central data server. A mini data center close to the location works wonders. Also, as I mentioned earlier about autonomous vehicles and smart homes, edge computing would be a better option for them since it processes data in milliseconds without any latency. So it won't wait. Medium scale industries that have a limited budget would prefer edge computing since it saves data transfer and resources. But on the other hand, cloud computing is more suitable for organizations that need to share massive data. When it comes to programming, several different platforms with different runtimes are used in edge computing. While cloud computing has one targeted platform and uses one programming language. Edge computing might need a high performance security plan that would include multi-factor authentication to prevent data attacks. Meanwhile, cloud computing needs less security. So there we have it. 
there is a comparison between edge computing versus cloud computing. As always, if you still have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video or found it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.